Shipwrecks buried in the Great Lakes serve as a reminder of the destruction that the White Hurricane left behind in 1913. It will certainly go down from an impact point of view with regard to loss of life, vessels lost, uh, as one of the most deadly storms ever in the Great Lakes. 31 ships were crippled, 12 sunk, and a few still haven't been found. For many of those vessels, the entire crew vanished, more than 250 people killed. And some of the largest ports in the Midwest were destroyed. It hit Lake Superior, it hit Lake Michigan, and then all of a sudden it came on with a renewed fury all the way through Lake Huron. The first wave of the storm was an Arctic front that brought feet upon feet of lake effect snow. Few problems came during this time, and as the storm calmed, some captains gathered their crews to set sail. It's almost winter freeze up. They have to get that cargo through, and these guys uh, knew they didn't make any money at anchor, and away they went. Many signs pointed at another wave of the storm coming, but captains ignored them. Some ships left ports in Lake Superior and traveled east through the St. Mary's River. Others set sail on Lake Michigan and passed through the Straits of Mackinac heading towards Lake Huron. That's where they encountered winds at speeds of 90 miles per hour, which became too much for some ships to handle. We know that they probably lost steerage. They fell into the trough of these 30 to 40 foot waves and then simply rolled over and sank. After the storm passed, bodies began washing up on shore. And while many hold Mother Nature responsible for the death toll, history shows others were to blame. So many of these accidents happen because the captains ignore what's there, they ignore their experience, or they overestimate the strength of their ship and their experience, and they head into the storms. After the storm of 1913, the National Weather Service developed new technology to help track storms, but that may not prevent us from seeing another white hurricane in the future. I think if you spent your life in the Great Lakes, you might see a couple of events that would rival maybe uh, the scope and size of an event like this.